So today I want to talk about motion interpolation and black frame insertion. Before we start, please share your thoughts and comments about black frame insertion and motion interpolation on the comments down below. And now we can start. I know most people don't like judder, but judder is part of life. When you're watching movies, be it in 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second or even 60 frames per second, sometimes judder can still be there. To counter this, this manufacturer tend to use interpolated frame insertion or black frame insertion or both. Frame insertion is essentially adding fake frame in between frame A and frame B. Whereas black frame insertion is just adding black or blanking to the video. Interpolated frame insertion always look weird because you're watching something that's not supposed to be there to begin with. The least weird of all this scheme is the one that comes from Sony. It's still weird, but it does not make me want to puke. Black frame insertion, however, it is a lot more natural and it does actually get rid of the panel judder. So it's reducing the panel judder, not the movie judder. Those two are very different things. After all, you want to keep the movie as pristine and as original as it possibly can. You're just removing the judder that's being added by the panels. Since a lot of you are using Sony as your TV, I'm going to use Sony TV as an example. So after you turn on your TV, you go to settings and then from there you choose your picture mode, whichever one you want. I highly recommend custom mode. And then you go to picture settings and go to motion flow. In there you set clearness to number one and that's it. Just a sprinkle of BFI goes a long way. Please share your thoughts and comments about black frame insertion and motion interpolation on the comments down below. And thank you very much for watching and goodbye.